This is a quick, easy how-to video for what you can do with candlesticks in Interactive Brokers Trader Workstation. So first of all, if you have your chart, here you can change the candle size, you can do the, the time period, and let's say for example, today, five minute candles. You can set one month daily candles. Let's say you want more than one chart. First of all, if you have any problems, make sure you unlock. You can drag and change the size of your charts. If you want to see multiple time frames, you can make a new chart. You scroll down, chart. Okay, this way you can drag and have multiple time frames at the same time. This will change, let's say, to today, five minute candles. Now you can see one month daily candles and today five minute candles at the same time. Obviously, the um, you can even have three or more on one one page. Now let's say what we want to do with these candlesticks is that for some reason we don't like candlesticks, we want to change them to high and low bars. Well you can click here, you can show bars, click again, changes back. You've got two options there. But if you go to edit, chart parameters, you've got more options. Let's say you choose one, you apply, OK. You want to change it back, you can go back where we were to edit, chart parameters again, or if you click here, it will change it back to bars or candlesticks. So that's the default option, bars or candlesticks. Perhaps you have it on candlesticks and you don't like the fact that you can't see any gap between the candlesticks. You can decrease the bar width. If you feel that the candlesticks are not visible enough, you want to zoom in. You've got a you've got more than one option. One of the options is you can use the magnifying glass. So you hover over the magnifying glass. If you just click on the chart, it's not going to do anything. So what you do is you can select where you want to zoom into. So you can click, keep pressed, drag over, and then unpress, and you'll have selected an area that you'd like to zoom into. There are some other options here. You've also got the bar thickness here. If for some reason you didn't remember it, you can if you if you wanted to get rid of the volume to make the the chart even bigger, you can hide the volume by clicking on here normally. But if you want it back, you can show the volume again here. The same option is also in this uh, volume subchart on and off. Those are some quick and easy things we can do with candlesticks. Let's say, like I said, let's say we want to make three charts. Again, you can do new window. Now I have chart at the top because this is uh, options I've been using. If you can't find it, you come down to here, chart. Now, if you so desired, you can have three different charts. Let's say we have uh, one year daily candles in one chart. We've got one month. We can change them. Let's say we have one month hourly candles for some reason. Today, five minute candles. Of course, you can change it today. You've got one minute candles as well. So this way you can 
by having multiple charts, you can trade with multiple time frames in mind. Those were some quick and easy tips. Um, one thing you can also check is here, right edge buffer. So you can add or get rid of horizontal space to the chart. Sometimes this option is not available and you might have to change it in different ways. But one of the things you can also that can also affect how much you, is visible in the chart is if you go to edit um, chart parameters show data outside of regular trading hours so this is showing the pre-market what's happening out after the market's closed if for some reason you don't want that deselect that box apply okay it might make the chart more visible for you if you want that back again simple show data outside of regular trading hours and again you can see what's been happening in the pre-market those are some quick and easy tips. If you have anything that you would like me to make a video on next, please like, subscribe, and comment down below. Thanks for watching.